All right, so let's do a venous protocol with the V-scan. We'll begin in the right inguinal canal, right below the inguinal ring. There you can see the common femoral artery and common femoral vein. Freeze, take the picture. Unfreeze, compress. Freeze that, take the picture. Unfreeze, go into sagittal. Here you can see the bifurcation of the common femoral artery into superficial and deep. All right, there's a common femoral vein there. Freeze, take the picture. Then color doubler. Now in the other video I made, I didn't know how to, to how to steer, but now I know how to steer. If you press this bar here in the middle, you can steer it side to side. Satisfied with that, take the picture. Unfreeze. Also, as I said in the other video, there's no spectral doppler on this, but you can still do augmentation. If you press, you'll see the flow increase. That's an augmentation. So not as functional as a full machine, but still diagnostic. All right, then onto the saphenofemoral junction. Go back and transverse. So you can see it coming off of the, or going into the common femoral vein. Take that picture, compress. Take that picture. Then go sagittal. And there you can see, and there's your saphenous right there. Very clear. You can see it going superficial into the adipose tissue. Take that picture. Then put color dobber on. It's not picking up any color. That's probably because I'm compressing the vessel because I'm pressing too hard. So I'll release some of the pressure. And then you start to see a little bit of flow there. Try a little augmentation. There you go. Freeze that. Rewind. That's about good right there. Take that picture. Unfreeze. So from there, you can continue on to the superficial femoral vein or just the femoral vein. There it is. Mess around with the TGCs a little bit, clear that up. Very pretty. Go down a little bit. Increase the depth, more TGCs. And it clears it right up, very clear. Freeze, take the picture, compress, freeze, take the picture, and then sagittal. Again with the TGCs, always use the TGCs in your gain to, uh, to, to enhance your image. So that's a decent image right there. Freeze, take the picture, unfreeze, put the color Doppler on. And here you can see I'm going to steer. Nice. I wasn't able to do that in the other video, but I figured it out. It's just that bar in the middle. All right, so you can see arterial flow there, very nice. There, I'm using that second setting, which uh, I guess lowers the PRF because it does increase the amount of aliasing. All right, that's good. Take that picture. Augmentation. There, I took it off. All right, now you can go further down to the mid superficial femoral vein or femoral vein. Add a little bit of TGCs back. Freeze, take the image, compress, take the image, and then sagittal. All right, here we are on sagittal, mid femoral vein. If you're perpendicular to the vein like this, sometimes the color doppler won't show good. So it's always good to tilt the heel or perform a heel tilt with a transducer to give yourself a nice angle with the transducer face. That usually does a good job at getting a, a better Doppler signal. Freeze that, take the picture. There you see the artery in the vein. The artery is more superior or more close to the transducer. And then with color Doppler, a little augmentation to increase the flow. Again, freeze that, rewind. Try to find a good spot where, where I got good flow. We'll try it again. There, that's better. Freeze. There, take that picture. That's nice. Very good color fill. All right, now go to distal femoral vein. Increase the TGCs back so we can see a little better. Take the picture. Compress. 
Now, when I'm in the distal, usually here it can compress good. But when uh, the femur is kind of in the way and it doesn't allow you to compress, I come in from the back and push both ways. And that usually allows an easier compress. And then I'll just cine loop back. So on the phone, I'll just rewind back to where it's compressed. Take that picture. Unfreeze. And sagittal. So I try to turn airplane mode on and it kind of uh, disconnected the probe. So I have to reconnect. So we're back in the distal femoral vein. Give it a little augmentation. A little squeeze. Boom. That's good. Freeze that. Rewind. Obviously, if you're doing augmentation, you have to put the phone down. All right. All right, I'm going to your leg a little bit. There. Now we'll go to the popliteal vein. So go into behind the knee in the popliteal fossa. Usually a very easy vein to see. Let's increase the TGCs. Now the popliteal is always going to be closer to the transducer because it is... You know, the vein is usually posterior to the artery, and we, but we're behind the knee, so our, our approach is posterior. Let's compress, freeze, take the picture, then sagittal. Nice grayscale image there. That's the artery. This is the vein. Freeze that. Take the picture. Put color Doppler. It's already steered the way I want it. A little bit of augmentation to see if we can see the flow. That's good. Rewind a little bit and perfect. Take that picture. All right now you can see you can see the lesser saphenous vein coming right here. Off the popliteal is usually going to be the lesser saphenous vein. Then a little more distally you have the tibial peroneal trunk, which would be the tibial and peroneal vein, and also the anterior tibial vein. Now, I'm going to stop here probably at the posterior tibial veins, and I'll do another video on how to get the those other three veins. So if you go a little further down into the medial calf, right next to the tibia, you'll be able to see the posterior tibial vein. It's usually one artery and two veins next to it. Uh, you can compress it. It's a little hard to see in this, but in the phone, I can see it pretty good. But you can compress, take the picture, and then go sagittal. And there you can see the three vessels right there. You, the artery is going to be in the middle. Take that picture. And now you can see the artery. Let me try the other, the other setting to see if I can pick up more flow and some augmentation. There, that's, that's some augmentation there. Let's see if I can get it better. Sometimes these light up real good, and sometimes they're a little harder to, to visualize. You could always try putting the patient in reverse Trendelenburg. Or have them hold their breath. There's many methods to get these veins to fill up. But I'm liking the, these images right here. That's pretty decent. Rewind. Let's try to find a spot where they both light up. Okay, that's much better. Take that. And that's even better. There you see the two veins very clear. And even better now. So like I said, I'm going to do a, a, another video on just how to get the posterior tibial veins, the anterior tibial veins, and the peroneal veins. All right, and Taco is back there in the, in the background just hanging out. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to do some other videos. I'm going to do some more protocols and share cases. Uh, just stay tuned to the next one, okay? All right, bye.